Hey there, it's Bernie Dog here. This is a burner that was sent to me for repair. Ick. <laughs> Gross. Yep, and it had fuel in it, as many times people send me stuff with fuel. Don't do that. Don't send fuel through the mail. It's very dangerous. Anyway, the original stove that this came off of, I have a whole nother video all about that stove where I show me using the stove and getting it fired up, and I'll have a link to that in the description box below the video. And this first part is where I just take a look at the burner and establish the condition that it's in before I do any work on it so that I know where I started from. As is often the case, there's a roll of mesh that's gotten really gross and dirty in the base of the burner. I, I went ahead and cleaned that and before I put it back in. And we're going to disassemble the burner uh, using just a common tool to remove the spindle nut. The burner was shipped to me without a cleaning needle in place. So after I've removed the jet here with my spiffy jet tool, there's no cleaning needle to come out. With the spindle out of the stove, we can take a look at the graphite packing. The condition of the inside of the burner there looks pretty good. And the graphite packing, not the best. If I recall correctly, I replaced that on this one. And there's our little ring. Note that the dished portion is towards the graphite packing. Got all our burner parts in there. I went ahead and cleaned this just by heating the burner on this ceramic block. And you can see this gross stuff that bubbled out of the burner of the, ba uh, the base of the burner. I'm not sure what this stuff is. This is pretty weird. You can see some still in there. It took a lot of work to get all that crud out of the burner, mostly mechanically. And then, of course, this is after I bead blasted the burner to clean it all up. If you look closely, you can see the two cracks right here on either side of the uh, spigot tube. And uh, you can see one there and one there. Yeah, I see them both there. I have quite a few other videos that show how I set up for doing uh, brazing. This is post brazing. This is what it looks like after it's been brazed. And here you can see what it looks like after I've cleaned the newly applied brazing filler to either side of that spigot tube to seal those cracks that were at the base of the burner. It's pretty easy to see the nice puddle of brazing filler. You can also see that the throat of the burner is much cleaner than it was. All that debris is cleaned out of there, mostly with a gun brush and some picks. Assembling the burner to a handy Optimus 45 tank that I had laying around, fired it up after a good preheat, and now it's working great with no further leakage. Now I'm going to guess that some people are going to say, Wow, you sure have that pumped up on that tank. It's really roaring really big. Uh, yeah, well that's true, but if you want to check for leaks, it's always best to have it at a higher pressure than a lower pressure. But as you can see, we also have a really nice simmer. Looking good, no leaks here. Thanks for watching. Please link, like, and subscribe.